Okay. Last time I uploaded a video was... Uh... The fuck, I can't find it. Almost two weeks ago. Wow. First and foremost, I want to apologize for making an apology video for me not uploading any videos because I am in turn uploading a video about not making videos when in the time that it's going to take me to record and make this video, I can be making those other videos for you guys. But that is exactly what I want to talk to you guys about today. I want to apologize to you for not making any videos for almost two weeks. I can give you the normal excuses, like, oh, I've just been super, super busy recently. Oh, there's just school and everything. Ah, uh, you know, I, bleh. I can give you all of that. And those are definitely parts of it, if you will, but I have had some other problems or roadblocks that have prevented me from making videos recently. I have had some anxiety problems recently. And it's nothing, like, too massive or anything. Like, when I was a kid, like, when I was around 10 years old, I used to have, like, horrible anxiety. I've since grown out of it, and I'm normally not like that at all, but in the past couple months or around the last year, something changed, and I want to blame 2016 for it. 2016, at least for me, as well, it has, as well as it has been, for a lot of people, has been a really, really shitty year for a lot of reasons. We're in the midst of what is probably one of the worst, if not the worst, presidential elections this country has ever seen. It's like a goddamn reality show up in that bitch. If anything, this election kind of proved that blondes are dumb. <laughs> no, 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 but blondes are not dumb. I have plenty of intelligent blondes in my family. Please, I already got in trouble for that once. I don't, uh, I don't want that to happen again. But either way, with all the dumb stuff that's been going around in, like, 2016 recently, and with all the change that's been happening in my life as well, like, I recently started going to school again at a different school, and it's it's just all very brand new to me, and it's all a different situation, and I'm just trying to see how I can grow from it and grow as a person. That's all you can really do in that situation when you, like, face adversary, you know? You just gotta see how you can, like, grow from it, because that's how we grow as people. That's how we become better people, but sometimes it's... It's just hard, you know, and it just builds on a person. And anxiety, unfortunately, runs in my family. It literally runs in my family. Like, it's just in our genes, you know? We're just... Naturally, sometimes we're worrisome and fearful people. And for me, like, it's a lot less so than other members of my family. Like, a lot of members, not even necessarily of my immediate family, but some of my, like, extended family, they suffer from, like, pretty bad anxiety. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But for me, I was never really like that too much. And with just all the stuff that's been happening in my life right now, with school and everything, and, uh, school and everything, Fuck. With all the stuff that's been happening in my life recently, it's just been getting worse. I sometimes have it at night, sometimes really late at night. You know how sometimes really late at night you just think about things that you really shouldn't be thinking about and your mind just runs at like a thousand miles a minute and everything? You know that? When it's just really late at night, you're thinking about things you shouldn't be thinking about, like death or something, or just like what happens when we die. Oh, I'm very so worried about the future right now. And all you want to do is just fucking sleep? Like, why am I thinking about these things now? Brain, what is wrong with you? I yeah, I have that sometimes, and I'm trying to just stray away from that a little bit, but, um, yeah, that's sort of been taking its toll on me a little bit. I have a class two times a week at 10 in the morning, and I gotta wake up pretty early to get to that class on time if I can have time to, like, eat before the class, and my mother is the same way, and my grandfather was the same way. When we have something to do early in the morning, when we have to wake up early in the morning, yes, 10 o'clock in, in the morning is early for me. Don't, don't judge me. Uh, <laughs> when we have to wake up, like, super early, we just have trouble sleeping. Like, I go to bed kind of late sometimes. I'm not typically too much of a morning person. Sometimes I, like, sleep, uh... Sometimes I, like, sleep late and I stay up late just playing video games with friends or, like, writing scripts for future videos and stuff. That's sort of what I do with the schedule I've been on recently. And I used to not be like that, but now I am, so b b what are you gonna do? And, like, like, I know I'm not doing a good job of explaining it in this video. I'm not in some sort of horrid mental state, but it's not perfect either. And it's just because so much in my life has been going on at once, like, the reason I've been anxious about, like, school is it's because of you guys. The One of the biggest reasons that, like, i not as keen on school as I am, like, as other people, if you will, isn't just because, like, I'm not 
necessarily the greatest student or I never thought I was built for higher education or anything. It's because I knew that when I was gonna go back to school just sitting after the end of my summer class and just like waiting on like, oh, when am I gonna go back to school or anything? It's because I knew that once I started going back to school, I was gonna have less time to make videos. And ever since I started making YouTube videos, it's just filled such a void in my life. I enjoy doing it so much and it makes me so happy. And sometimes the fact that I can't do that because I have an assignment or I just have too many assignments that are just dawning on me all at one time and that when that happens, sometimes I just sit around to do nothing and it's just because I know I have so much to do. It kills me a little inside. Even though that I don't have nearly as many YouTube subscribers as I'd like to with how hard I work on my videos, I still enjoy doing it. And it sucks because like there are so many times where I've thought about quitting YouTube, I thought it would be so much better for me to quit YouTube. I can't. I can't. My body will just not allow me to quit because I like doing it too much. So even if I want to, I'm here to stay. That is until a YouTube hero starts to have a problem with me and starts flags all my videos and gets it deleted. But until that day, I'm here to stay. And like I said before, I'm not typically like an anxious person, or at least not as anxious as the rest of my family is, but I've also been sick recently. And not like super sick, like I'm not, I'm not dying or anything, like my kidneys didn't fail or anything like that. But I had a cold, and then I was better, and then I had another cold. If I sound a little weird right now, it's because I'm just getting over one, like this is like the first day where I felt better, I had like a one day cold, maybe it's allergies or something, maybe I need to get fucking like claret and clear or something but either way when I get sick especially if I have a stomach virus I get anxious dude and that anxiety and like I said especially when I'm like super sick which I haven't been like it's just a tidbit about me dude if I have a stomach virus I like drop acid like I hallucinate at night like not even when I'm dreaming like this one time like when I would like had a stomach virus I like ran downstairs to my mom and sister screaming at the top of my lungs and it was because like the cow was running against an old woman in an election and like the cow like beat the old woman but like the cow rigged the election and I was so mad about that like I ran downstairs screaming like I knew it I fucking knew it you fucking cow rigging the election I was screaming at my mom and sister about this and they were just like what the fuck is wrong with this little boy it was crazy man fortunately I don't get sick like that very often it's just like once every couple of years or something thank god but uh, it's worse. I can tell that my anxiety has worsened in the past year, not even just because of all the bullshit that's happened in 2016, you know, like fucking like Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump being the front runners of the presidential election. I don't know how the fuck that happened. You know, fucking Harambe dying. That's another thing that's really taken its toll on my soul and I'm sure the soul of many other men and women in my generation. And the biggest thing is the lack of videos that I haven't been able to make and they're the ones that I want to make that I can't because I don't have the time because of school and my dumb anxiety and my colds and shit in which I can't record videos because then my voice is gonna sound like all nasally like there were days when I wanted to record videos that like I couldn't because I was sick and I would have sounded like poop and I didn't want to do that to you guys I don't want you guys to listen or see poop my videos are not poop. They're not about poop. They've never been about poop. This ain't no Spongebob show, all right, kids? It ain't about poop. It's about something else, but just not poop, okay? It's just a lot of things have been taking their toll on me. And when that happens, I like to try and power through. But when it happens all at once, it gets a little, it gets a little bit harder. I've also had some other personal problems recently, and it sort of has to do with my mental state. And the problems are really personal and frankly kind of embarrassing, so I'm not exactly going to talk about them here, but that as well has been like doing a little bit of a number on me as well, because it just has to do with something that I deem really important about life, and it's just like a roadblock that, or like excuses that I tell myself that like stop me from being able to do it, and it just makes me feel like such an outsider compared to everyone else in the world, or just it's seemingly like to everyone on <coughs> or seemingly to everyone else in the world, you know? And I just don't want to psych myself out like that, but sometimes I do, you know? People got demons, man. I'm not making this video to tell you guys that like I'm dying or that I'm dead because that's not true at all. I've been telling you guys repeatedly for the past couple of weeks that I have more stuff planned for my channel. I have tons more stuff that I'm planning to do and that's true. 
And I'm just sick of just continuously telling you guys that and having there be no context about it because, like I said, sometimes that leads to me just not posting anything and my channel just being, like, dead for two weeks before I have the chance to even make anything that I want to, like, make for you guys. Like, straight up, like, just so I could have a video for you guys, the other night I tried to make a vlog about donuts. I'm not even kidding. I tried to make a fucking vlog about donuts. Who would watch that? Who would watch a vlog about donuts? I was literally gonna get on here, take a box of donuts, like, sniff it or something, and just show you guys a donut. It was a- it was like an Entenmann's, uh, crumb-topped donuts. They're the best fucking thing that I've ever had in my life. If you haven't eaten them, go get some now. They're so delicious. I eat whole boxes of that shit, like, eight donuts in a row. The point is, I was gonna make a vlog about donuts, and that's pretty stupid, so... That just goes to show the kind of filler I've been trying to give you guys and the free time that I'm able to work on some things. And then sometimes, you know, I try to make those videos and I just feel uninspired and then I can't make them, you know? And I just psych myself out thinking to myself, can I really do this? Can I do YouTube? Can I really do this? And I know I can do this. And frankly, it's because I have to do it. It's because I don't know what else I can do with my life. At least not at this moment, I don't know what else I can do with my life. And this is what I want to do with my life. That's why I've been working so hard, like, to try and, like, make my YouTube channel, like, more accessible to other people. I hit 370 subs recently, which is cool. If I can get 30 by- 30 more by the end of the year and reach 400, that would be fantastic. Bandy Pat has more subs than me now, and all he does is sit on his ass and play Guitar Hero all day. So, I'm a little salty about that. But like I was saying, just to tell you guys that I am working on some things, I've been working on lots of scripts of my YouTube channel, let me just tell- let me just run some of the things off of what I'm trying to make for you guys in the meantime. Top 10 Smash Brothers Music Remixes The Friend Zone, an in vloggish vlog about the friend zone and all the things you should know about it. Does it exist? Does it not exist? Is it something made up by feminists? Is it something made up by... Meninists? Who knows? Perfect Pivot Down Smashing, the uses, and the practical uses of it in Smash 4. The top five of my favorite video games. The bottom five of the top ten of my favorite video games. Really bad green screen effects with purposeful bad acting. Ninvlogist, why I'm afraid of women at Smash Brothers tournaments. That's a real thing that I was trying to make for you guys. And frankly, it's because I feel like if I look at a woman at a Smash Brothers tournament, I'm gonna wind up on Reddit for harassing her. Why I'm happy the Ice Climbers are not in Smash 4. Top 10 Mario Party games. Top 10 worst Smash Brothers characters. Top 10 worst Mario characters. Top 10 best Smash Brothers characters. Top 10 dumbest Smash Brothers characters. Ninvlogist, why I don't like sports. And Ninvlogist, Paper Mario and Teen Titans Go are the same thing follow up. That is a video that I've been telling you guys that I was going to make a long time ago. And I still do plan on making that. But I have been very lazy and very anxious and full of school. And I have been sick back to back like I've spent this entire video explaining to you guys. So yeah, I'm not going to run off the multitude of excuses for you guys again. I already made you sit through that. And last but not least, a full Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion with my good friend Dennis. We recorded over half of the Let's Play about a month ago we did, and we never got around to finishing it, but I want to finish it before Halloween. Hopefully within like a week or two, we can just finish the last couple episodes of that, and then I can just spread them all out in time for Halloween, which I think would be absolutely perfect for a game like Luigi's Mansion. It's got like spooky ghosts and, and vacuum and sucking them up and sucking and sucking, you know? But like I said, I made this video to remind you guys that I'm not dead. I'm not dying either. I know I've made it sound like my situation is pretty, like, dumb or desperate or dire or anything, but this is just another chapter of my life, you know? A lot of people, like, they get so upset or, or like, obsessed with, like, how bad, quote-unquote, their lives are just because it's, like, the end of a certain chapter of their life when, in actuality, there's still a bunch more chapters. The book isn't- the book isn't done yet. You know what I'm saying? And my book is far from over. And I refuse to accept that it's over. Or close to over. Because the media always tries to, like, get down on you and say, like, Oh, you're gonna die unless you do these certain things or whatever, and life is pain and fucking, like, we're all screwed. That's what the media says all the time. They always try and tell you... They always try and tell you how screwed we are. And... But that's a video for another time, though. I don't, I don't mean to go off on that. But like I said, it's just the end of a chapter in my life and the start of a brand new one. That's the kind of mindset you need to have when going through life because that, in those moments where you think positively and think about moving forward, those are when you start to become a success. When you start to think down on yourself, that's when success starts to hinder away from you. Success isn't like this big thing where like, oh, I have like a fuck ton of money. In that case, that would mean that like Donald Trump is successful. 
And in terms of economics, he is, but as a human being... No, I think he failed at being a human being. That's, that's my two cents. Which is worth nothing to him, because he has billions of dollars, apparently. What the fuck am I talking about right now? But either way, guys, it's just been an awkward time in my life. A lot of things changing and everything, and it's just been a really awkward time for making videos. That's why the videos have been sporadic, and sometimes I've just gone, like, now, two weeks without making a single one. I do have an Overwatch video that is coming out either after I post this video or before I already posted this. If I posted it already, I'll put a link to it, like, right there or there or wherever or something. I'll just, I'll post that. If I haven't yet, well, it'll appear in your inboxes. That is if you haven't subscribed. So you better fucking subscribe. You better just hit that button right there. Or better. 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 You better. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. If you like this video, you can go ahead and give it a subscribe again. That would be absolutely fantastic. You could also like the video, comment on the video, share the video, do any of those things. Any of those things would mean the world to me. And yeah, there's no and after that. I don't know why I said and. <laughs> wow. Thank you all so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. Don't worry about me if you are. I'm sure none of you are worried about me, but if you are, please don't worry about me. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will gladly see you next time. Take care, guys.